all these will be discussed today we have two powerful uh, speakers powerful trainers uh, one is the first uh, half will be handled by lion m nagaraju uh, who is uh, certified lions certified instructor program that is the highest qualification in lions of international is certified he is the former principal of a postgraduate college in hyderabad and now he serves as a trainer of teachers he is a lion since 1984 two years senior to me in lionism in service and he is a life member of lions of international his home district is 320d that is hyderabad if you simply say some number lions cannot digest where this in which part of the earth 320d is so he is from hyderabad recipient of four times international presidential medals and four times international leadership medals i have uh, met him in the recent couple of years back of course he was in kerala about two weeks back as a faculty member for our rlla and uh, there had been very good response from 57 participants from the different parts of kerala state and i should uh, really congratulate uh, that is his first maiden visit to kerala and the delegates were extremely happy i have immense pleasure to present before this uh, audience my good friend very senior lion and uh, a very good trainer lion m nagaraju thank you sir uh, the second presenter i will present little later he is he is already present here uh line dr jeevanta pereira from sri lanka but i will introduce him before his session starts so the floor is yours uh, over to line nagaraj thank you very much sir thanks a lot for that very wonderful introduction and also for thank you for the wonderful hospitality that i enjoyed recently when i was in kerala that was a very memorable experience for me like uh, pid murugan has already said this was my maiden opportunity in multiple district 318 i thoroughly enjoyed it thank you very much sir and thank you all the lions who are here from kerala uh, so moving on to my presentation let me just take a few seconds to uh, share my screen one moment yeah uh, good evening friends uh, this is a uh, our presentation on gmt toolboxes and resources uh, i don't know why the international association called it toolboxes actually i consider it gift boxes because everything that comes in the form of a tool is a wonderful gift that's given to us and everything comes in the form of a beautifully packed beautifully organized very systematically presented data tool that is readily available to us and extremely useful to us each of these resources is really very useful to all those uh, who are holding various positions at the club level district level and at various other levels too so what are these tool boxes or gift boxes and then how do they come and then how do we access them is the focus of my presentation today the next 35 minutes to 40 minutes i'm going to talk to you about these tool boxes and resources let me just begin by telling you that there are lots of tool boxes here available to us on lionsclubs.org available to everybody irrespective of your position as long as you are a lion as long as you have a membership id you have access to almost all these tool boxes so the first three that you see on the screen in bold letters are what i am going to do that is membership reports toolbox uh, membership growth events toolbox and the third one is new club development guide and the other links that you see on the screen are going to be done by my good friend my elli colleague jivanta and uh, we'll wait for them after my presentation is over so the first three links are what we are going to do now let me begin with the first one membership reports toolbox i think all of them are i mean when you see the names you understand what they are 
it's not very difficult to interpret them. Let me just go to the first one, membership reports toolbox. Uh, membership reports toolbox has actually multiple tools there. It's actually a, a, a box of tools. Many tools are there. So what tools are there? There are uh, all these, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tools are there. So what are these tools? One is five year trend report. And the second one is a club district health assessment. The third one is a cumulative report. The fourth one is membership register report. The next one is summary of membership and specialty clubs report. And finally, we have insights. All the seven tools, as I told you, are available to all of us, all the lions from all over the world, except insights where there are some limitations. I'll come to that a little later. So each one of these tools, as I've already explained to you, is extremely useful to us, especially for those who are in charge of membership-related responsibilities, the club GMT, the district GMT, the multiple district GMT, et cetera, et cetera. All these people who are given very important responsibility of taking care of the membership of the association will greatly benefit by using these tools. It does not mean that you don't know about them. Most of you perhaps already familiar with these tools, but still there are lots of things that are offered every day, new ones are offered and old ones get updated. And some of us perhaps have, did not have enough time to go through them. And this is some kind of a refresher for all of us. And let's see each one of these tools. Uh, this is not a workshop, this is a presentation. That's why there may not be much interaction between us, but still feel free to post any questions, comments, suggestions while I am talking to you in the chat box. And if I can see them immediately, I'll try to respond. Otherwise, we'll devote some time to discuss your questions towards the end of my presentation. The first report, the first report, again, as the name indicates, five-year trend report, five-year trend. So what's happening over the last five years is what this tool tells us. Let's see this tool. I've taken a screenshot already. Uh, because I was not very sure if Wi-Fi would be good to show you live. But anyway, the screenshot does equally good. Let me see this. So in case somebody asks a question about how has your district been doing over the last five years? Five years not from today. Five years before 2020, five years before 2015, five years before 2014. It can be any year in the past. The last 15 years, we have records and then in case you want to see what happened before 2014, five years before 2014, there is a record available to us. I think that's wonderful, no? I'm sure everyone would like to have, a, I mean, a historical idea, historical report of what happened to our districts during those years. What is there in this data? What is there in this report? I think it's very, very obvious. I think you go to any one of these years, starting from 2012 or much before also, I think because it depends on in which year your district uh, was, uh, I mean, got uh, created and also the data that has already been available in the digital format. Maybe before 2005, 2006, I think perhaps the digital data was not available and then maybe uh, that is not included, but starting from 2010 or 2008, I think I'm not very sure. So data is available. So what do you see here? Once you go to the year and the month of your choice, you see here data presented in the form of, I mean, trend during the five years comparatively, what happened to with the new clubs? What happened with new members? What happened with charter members? How many charter members were invited into your district, for instance, in 2011, right? Like that, you have data relating to five years on all these parameters. Not only this data is presented in a tabular form, luckily for us, and also very impressively, we also have beautiful graphical presentations of the data. So for instance, the last five years, how were the clubs, I mean, uh, how many clubs were opened, how many members were invited, and how many members we have lost, how many clubs were closed, etc. And even gender comparison, membership comparison, a lot of such data is available to tell us, to give us the trend that's happening. How do trends help us? I mean, like the somebody was talking about uh, the cyclone before the program began. So cyclone, the meteorology department, for instance, works on the basis of 
trends. So if you see what happened over the last 5, 10, 15, 20 years, you know what's happening in what period. For instance, during Diwali period, what happens during November, December in Lyrism. So some kinds of things happen. And similarly in June, July, a few other kinds of things happen. In maybe again, when the new year begins in July, something else happens. So what are these trends? And what is happening based on that, maybe we can take some preventive measures, we can be proactive, and we can use the right tools to help ourselves. So that's the idea of giving us this trend report, five-year trend report. I think you're all clear about that. So the five-year trend gives us an analysis of the clubs and members district-wise. So for your district, what is the data that's available? A, you can access if you are a GMT district coordinator, if you are a GMT club coordinator, or if you are working with the membership department at any other level, I think this is wonderful data that's available to you. The second toolbox that's included in this is the club and district health assessment. Beautifully named, I like that name, health assessment. Like individuals have health reports, Clubs also can have health reports. Let's see what this report tells us. The club health report, I think, is perhaps the most useful report that anybody can lay hands on. Why is it so? It's because it tells you everything proactively, I mean, on various parameters. For instance, what are the clubs in your district which have less than 20 members? That's shown in red in the first column. You might see one of the columns here. This column says, oh, here is a club that has less than 20 members. So that's it. perhaps it could be a sign of weakness. If a club is less than 20 members, it's economically not viable. It may not be, the meetings may not be very interesting. It may have, I mean, throw up some of the problems. So in case we know what are the clubs that are less than 20, so we can work on them and we can approach them and we can help them build their membership. Similarly, it gives lots of other data, not only about membership, it also tells you whether a certain club is sending reports or not, how long they have not sent reports, what was the last report that they sent. Suppose a club has not sent reports for the last two months, three months, four months, five months, what does it mean? That means the club is likely to go very weak and then soon it may even get closed. So it helps us focus our attention to that club and then maybe take measures to strengthen it, revive it, rebuild it, whatever. Similarly, this also, this statement also tells us what are the clubs shown in red here, which have dues outstanding for a very long time, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, 120 days, dues unpaid. So that is a certain sign of weakness of a club and then it needs immediate attention. It again is the responsibility of the global membership team members and of course the other leaders, the district cabinet treasurer, the district governor, the district governor team, whoever is responsible for that, the region chairpersons, the zone chairpersons. And because we have access to this, all of us can share this document show and then every month, every 15 days, every week, we can have our hands laid on this and then we can utilize this document for building the clubs stronger. And one more important information, this assessment document gives us is about the repetition of the club presidents. So if a club has a president repeatedly performing the same role, suppose some club is electing the same president for two years, three years, four years, five years, sometimes in, in some cases in 10 years, the same president. So it again shows that the leadership is not built, the second level leadership is lacking and the same person is playing the same role. So it could be a sign of weakness. It could be a sign of something else. So we can study that and then we can approach that. Claim. And this statement also tells us about the donations that have been, if you see the last column here, the donations that have been made to LCI, Flying Clubs International Foundation. So club-wise, we get this data and this is updated every month. And in case you're not getting this statement directly from Lions Clubs International on your mail, you can write to the department and you can ask yourself to be included in the mailing list. But you don't need to do that. Actually, you can access it online anytime. So that is what this club health assessment is. And that's why I told you this is one of the most essential, most useful and most helpful tool that we have access to. The third tool that I would like to talk about is the cumulative report. Cumulative, the meaning of the word is summing up, total, total for a district. So what is this cumulative report? It's a summary of club membership. So what does it tell us? The district summary for a fiscal year. For instance, starting from July 1st this year, 2021, what has been happening? 
till this moment. So this is again updated at the end of the month. And so for the last seven months, six months, four months, whatever, for that period, starting July 1st, always starting from July 1st. So this gives you lots of data again, district wise. So these are the various districts and then district wise, you can go to your own district and you can see how many clubs we began with, how many members we began with, how many members have we lost this year, how many clubs we have gained this year and how many new clubs are opened this year and what is the final gain, loss, status, etc. So this is the last column tells us total membership and gain or loss. So a quick look at it tells us that we are losing members, we are gaining members, so much of progress has been done. This is the place where we need attention. This particularly, this document helps, I mean, leaders at a higher level, council chairpersons, area leaders, and constitutional area leaders. This document helps them to see the trend and also to make notes about the uh, progress that we've been making in terms of membership growth. And this is useful to others also, as I already told you. Let me go back to this slide. <clears throat> then if you want data, not about the district, not about the higher level, but about the club. At the club level, what's happening? Uh, member, is membership growing? Then what's the membership count? Uh, what is the last reporting date, et cetera, et cetera. You can use this fourth tool. The fourth tool is membership figures, which is called a register report, membership register report. Don't uh, be misled by that title, Membership Register Report. It is actually a report of the membership figures as of the month end, every month. So it is updated again at the month end and it tells you, for instance, each club in your district. This is a report which I uh, extracted from uh, the website yesterday morning. Um, not even yesterday, I think yesterday night. So I um, saw this report and then uh, it gives the names of the clubs and also uh, the status of the club, uh, the last report. So I think this is a very important indicator, especially if you are a GMA, GLA, uh, if you are a GMT coordinator of your district. I think this tells you whether the club has been sending reports or not. And the membership details. So the new members, the reinstated members, the transfer members, and drops. So how many members we have lost during this month. And finally, the closing figures. So this is again an extremely useful tool because one single document gives you information about the entire district. Suppose you have to go to the cabinet meeting tomorrow and make a presentation. You don't have to ask 10 region chairpersons in your district or a hundred clubs you need not call. This document you can just download and you can carry it with you and you can make a beautiful presentation. It gives you consolidated figures also for the district. So every data item that you need to make a report, to make a presentation, to pay attention to, to give additional support to them is available to you in tools like this. I think every one of us benefits from using this uh, report, this tool. Then there is a uh, another tool called Speciality Clubs Report. Uh, I don't want to show it to you uh, to save time, but what it, uh, I'm sorry, before that, there is a summary of membership. What is the summary of membership? Summary is again, I think uh, PID Murugan was telling you about the women members, about the family members, about the mistakes sometimes inadvertently happen. Uh, PID Murugan was telling us, so some family member is reported as a head of the family, right? So some concession that's available to a family member uh, is not um, gained and the billing happens and then we suddenly cry over that and then something, I mean, nothing can be done on that. So to avoid that, we will have a constant watch over this and we can see how many men members are there, how many women members are there, how many family units are there, how many family members are there, how many student members are there, how many Leo Lions are there, how many young adults are there. All this data helps us check the billing. Uh, I think if you are the G, uh, M, uh, a global membership uh, team leader of your district, for instance, if you are the GMT of your district, I think this is a very, very useful tool because many clubs may call you and they ask you why this bill has happened like this. Why are they billed uh, wrong or right or whatever? And in case you need to answer their questions, you can directly check this and then you can tell them, oh, this is the status. So many family members are there. So many members deserve or maybe they have been given some kind of uh, incentive. So what is the um, breakup of the membership gender-wise, type-wise, et cetera. This is a very, very helpful tool again. So every uh, membership related position de demands, needs this. And then in case you have it on your hand, you can help the clubs, you can help the district 
and you can help yourself. So this, uh, as I told you already, this gives you breakup of the membership type-wise and gender-wise. What are the types? The types are Leo Lion members, family members, and young adult members, student members, etc. Because the, the billing structure is slightly different for each category, this helps us go through that. Then uh, I was telling you about the specialty clubs report. Specialty clubs report is nothing but a listing of all the specialty clubs all over the world. So this helps in one way, at least, in case we have a list of all the specialty clubs in the world, we know what are the various categories. So under what uh, special mentions, under what special categories, we can open new clubs, what are the various uh, uh, ideas others are working on to create new clubs. So if you just take a look at that, I think it will certainly help you, especially if you are considering opening uh, specialty clubs. And the last one, perhaps in my opinion, is the most important tool available to us in this reports toolbox. This is called the insights. I was telling you that while all the other first six reports are available to all of us, irrespective of our position, insights, of course, is available to us depending on the position that we hold. Some data may not be available to everyone. It depends on the position that we hold and also, uh, I mean, the level at which we are working. Uh, but most information even here is available to all of us. This is some kind of a dashboard. So like the dashboard where everything, uh, the, like the home page. So every information that you need, statistical information is available to us relating to trends, donations, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This is how it looks. This is a screenshot again, I took this morning. Uh, this is updated every minute. Uh, unlike the other reports, which usually are updated month end. So they are monthly reports, but insights is, is a dynamic report every, every day, every hour, every minute, it's automatically getting updated. I don't know how much money Alliance Clubs International invested in creating these tools for us and then creating, I mean, spending so much money on software that dynamically works on this, but they have done a wonderful work. When we joined Lionism, Dr. Malayan Murugan was telling us that he's a for nearly 35 year old lion. I think some of us have been in Lionism for a very long time and we know how difficult it was to get data. So when we sent a report, which always used to be physical, it used to be posted, right? And to uh, for, to send a um, report to America, there was no Mumbai office then. So or maybe even if Mumbai office there, we had to send reports directly to America. So um, how long it took and then how difficult it was to consolidate those reports physically, you can imagine. But now luckily, so everything, the moment you have reported something, it automatically gets updated in insights and you have the tool available here, all statistical data. See, there are so many various ways in which this data can be accessed. And this is uh, area wise, this is uh, district wise, this is club wise. You can choose what level do you want this information. This information is about membership, about service activities, about donations, about clubs, etc. If you just take a quick look at this, for instance, for instance, this slide, this uh, graph that you see here, this talks about the total membership, uh, constitutional area wise. I am sure you know that there are eight constitutional areas, and we're, uh, I'm sure you also know the name of our constitutional area. You might uh, know that we all are in Isame. So Isame. Uh, I think uh, we have 0 0.38 million members as on today, the first one. So we are the largest constitutional area in the world. 0 0.3 uh, million is uh, nearly uh, 4 lakhs out of 14 lakh members in the world. 4 lakh members are in Isami. So I am sure we are all proud of that and then we will continue uh, further growing. Similarly, there are lots of other data that's available to us and we can utilize this uh, uh, <clears throat> to, again, uh, make presentations and also know and also help clubs, help districts, etc. Uh, I'll just check if my Wi-Fi is working fast enough to just see you uh, see the same thing dynamically. Please uh, um, wait for a few seconds. Yeah, wonderful. It's working. So this is uh, how you access that. So this is what you see in a matter of a few seconds. And this can be accessed any moment by all the lines, but maybe some information may not be available to, um, uh, the same um, information may not be available to everyone. Okay, so I was telling you about the summary. I was also telling you about the membership. For instance, if you look at the 
membership data, for instance. So, I mean, again, constitutional area wise, you can choose district wise, you can choose multiple district wise, district wise. So these are the trends and then these are the figures. Uh, donations, for instance, uh, I was telling you that we must be very proud of being the largest constitutional area. But when it comes to uh, donations, I think we are not doing really well. The figures tell us that India's and Isami is not, I mean, not, not donated much, whereas OCL, uh, Orient and South Asia has done, uh, I think maybe 20 times, 30 times more than we have done. Uh, anyway, uh, I think these are figures that are available to us. You can, you can access campaign 100 data also in this. Uh, campaign hunted. So how many $300 million we hunted to collect and then how much is collected at this minute. So right now, how many, uh, how many model clubs are there? How many major donors are there? How many lead donors are there? I think you know the difference and how much uh, has been received in cash already? How much uh, is pledged and is yet to be received? I think in case you are working for LCIF or if you are a membership uh, uh, related um, leader, but you would like to make a presentation about these donations and grants and other things, I think this data will be extremely useful to you. I was telling you that uh, we are here somewhere, uh, Isame. So we are the fourth largest uh, um, campaign hundred donors. Uh, compared to OCL, I think we have done very little. Even this little also part of it is pledged. This dark color that you see on the screen is a pledge and the rest of the light blue color is the cash received. Whereas in most other uh, constitutional areas, uh, nearly 100% of the donation has only been made in cash. Anyway, uh, this may not be uh, directly relevant to my presentation today, but I'm just telling you that this here is information that's available to all of us. And in case we use it, we'll be greatly benefited. Okay, so coming back to this. So I was telling you that Insights is a very, very, very useful tool available to all of us. And in case uh, we have any uh, data needed for instant use on the spot, we can directly go to the website and download that. So that's where uh, we stop with the membership reports toolbox. I told you this was my first assignment. Then, because I'm also asked to speak about the membership growth events toolbox. So what's this? Let's see. So the second part of my presentation. So this membership growth events toolbox, again, there are lots of tools here. What are these tools? The, must, the first and the most important tool is membership growth event presentation. Uh, maybe you may uh, stop for a minute and ask yourself, in case you are invited to make a presentation. All of a sudden, suddenly the governor tells you, okay, tomorrow uh, there is a request from certain club and then they want to open a new club in their vicinity and then please go and address them. So what will you do? Maybe because you don't have a web, you don't have a ready-made uh, PowerPoint slideshow, maybe you have to ask somebody or maybe you have to search around and then or you have to create your own, which takes a lot of time. But luckily, in the Lions Clubs International has made it very simple for us. So uh, I'll just click here and see if this uh, PowerPoint slideshow we can see, in case we can see it. I think I'll just run through it in half a minute. So yeah, that's good. So the, these are the slides, so membership growth event. So this slideshow is available to every one of us. How wonderful that is. So you don't need to do anything. All that you need to do is just take this and then take this with you and then make a presentation. It, even if the governor tells you it's in the evening today or it's within an hour, all that you need to do is you can just directly use this slideshow, which is again regularly updated and then uh, um, is readily available to us. So this is a presentation all of you can lay hands on, all of you can use in case you are invited to, even if you are not invited to speak, in case you want to know what exactly uh, are the contents that you can focus on in case of a presentation that you need to make. I think this is a wonderful tool. Uh, then uh, I think uh, the other four tools we can see together. One is membership satisfaction guide. And the next is a club quality initiative. I think most of you know about this so much. Uh, every day we hear about this from somebody or the other. A blueprint for a stronger club and your club your way. Let's see them in the next slide. So these are the four uh, tools available to all of us again. These are text tools. 
So they are manuals actually. So these four manuals again are available to us. Suppose I want to uh, undertake a membership satisfaction survey in my own club or in some other club. How do I do that? Very simple. I just download this and then there is a survey form there. I administer that survey and then I gather data. I analyze and uh, what kind of uh, uh, improvements do I need to make to the quality of my club performance so that my club functions better. How wonderful that is. Like the survey is ready-made, the manual is ready-made and everything is there. In fact, it is so very easy. Lions Clubs International actually spoon feeds us. We hardly do have to do anything. Um, everything is available, ready-made. You just ask for it, it's there. So membership satisfaction is guide one guide that's available to us. The second manual that's available to us is Club Quality Initiative. My home club conducted Club Quality Initiative some two, three years ago, and we found this extremely useful to us. And it benefited us because we made a very clear, very careful analysis of the data that we found from there. I think it benefited us a great deal. Similarly, there is a blueprint for a stronger club. How can we make a club a stronger club? So a blueprint is a planning, a plan of action. So what steps do you take to make a club stronger is what you do here. Then your club, your way, so suiting the needs of the modern uh, younger community and with the kind of responsibilities that we have with a global scenario changing with lots of things happening around. Lions Clubs International has uh, made some changes, some basic changes to uh, the, uh, the structure and also the facilities and also the meetings, the service activities that we organize, et cetera, et cetera. All that's explained in your club, your way. So tomorrow onwards, you don't need to ask anybody what is this and you can access it on your own and everybody must go through them and everybody must have it ready. Uh, maybe uh, I think we can think of uh, a very small assignment at this point, but the assignment is very simple. Go through any one of these four manuals today night or tomorrow morning and take a screenshot of any one page of four th these four manuals and please post it in that Ahmedabad Conclave Delegates group. In case you're not a member of that group, please send it to me. I'll give you my number. So this is the assignment. So just all that you need to do is visit any one of the four manuals, take a screenshot of any one of the pages and post it to me. Right. So uh, the last thing that I, the last part of my presentation is about the material that's available. If you want to organize an event, there is a checklist ready, there is an agenda ready, there is an invitation letter ready, there is a blank Excel sheet ready to grab, uh, to uh, gather data and even follow up responses. If somebody says yes, what do you do? If somebody says no, what do you do? How do you write a letter? As if somebody says, oh, I can't write a good letter, there is a letter ready made here, right? And I don't know how to invite somebody into the club. So there is a ready made letter here. I don't know what is the agenda. For, uh, lots of calls I receive every, I mean, very frequently. And they ask me, sir, what is the agenda for this program? So there are tools like this available to you all over and then you can utilize them. I'm sure you benefit from them, right? So this is uh, another tool that's available to us, new club development guide. I told you this is the uh, third part of my presentation and a new club development guide, uh, again, comes to you in the form of a textual resource, which you can lay your hands on and use it. Uh, then there are lots of video tools available to you. What are these video tools? So if you go to, there, there is a link here. I think you can see this in blue here in my screen. So if you go here, there are thousands of video uh, tools that can be directly used either from the website directly or you can download and keep them with you and take them with you and then you can incorporate them, embed them in your presentations. And I'm sure uh, you will make your presentations much more impressive with them. So what I'll do is to save time again. I think it's already 7.40. Maybe I'll finish in the next two, three minutes uh, so that we'll have some time for questions. What I'll do is I'll play all of them together. Please watch them. It's only 30, 40 seconds. That's all.
everybody brings their own ideas, and from that we get the best ones to help the community. Uh, so these are the uh, members. members. Uh, these are the uh, uh, these are some samples of the videos that you have. There are actually, as I told you, there are thousands of them. You can use any number of them uh, for whatever purpose, depending on the assignment that you've got. You can download the right ones. What we do in our home district 320D is whenever we have a program, we dedicate the first 15 minutes to show some of these videos. So we have a fixed time. We print it to the card itself. So 7 o'clock to 7.15, Lions video, 7.15, the program begins. In 320D or home district, we have a uh, we have a, a tradition of starting meetings right on time. Today, I saw it with the PID Murugan also. He did not want to wait even for one minute. Seven o'clock, he said, we'll start. So like that, we also in our district have that habit of starting on time. And we dedicate a little time before uh, to show videos like this. So these videos are extremely useful. Some of them starting from 20, 30 seconds to hour long programs. Again, as I told you, depending on what purpose do you like to achieve by showing these videos, uh, you can download them and you can use them. Uh, maybe before I close uh, my presentation, I just would like to uh, give you one more, a second assignment. I'm sorry if I'm troubling you. The second assignment is uh, maybe, I don't know if you've seen this video. This is a uh, 30, 25 second video. Your Bevel Lions Club is always looking for new members all walks stop this this is a 25 second video uh, of a senior lion from a certain club inviting prospective members so those who would like to join our club please let me know that's all he said now i would like every one of you who is here there are about 70 people here all 70 of you to create a half minute video one minute video or maximum a little longer is okay but maybe about one minute video you also can invite members into your club and after you create that one minute video, what can you do? Maybe you have that WhatsApp on your phone and then uh, there are some Lions groups, there are some non-Lions groups. I think anybody on the phone have, will have maybe about five to 10 Lions groups and maybe 20 to 30 non-Lions groups. What you can do is you can create a one minute video inviting people to join your club and you can post it in non-Lions groups. Even if, if you receive one request from somebody to become a member, I think that will be a great achievement. Very recently, maybe two years ago, uh, I, I, I just saw a, uh, an inquiry on the Lions website about somebody who wanted to know more about Lionism. Immediately, I called him and then I checked up with him. And then I realized that he was interested. I oriented him, I indoctrinated him, and I found out which was the uh, nearest club to him. And then I suggested that club, I think the member who invited him to Lionism also is attending this program, Praveen. So that member became a very good member. So in case we create such short videos, I think they'll help us in different ways. So this is my, um, uh, my mail address and also my telephone number. I asked you to send a screenshot of that manual to me in case you're not coming to Ahmedabad. If you are coming to Ahmedabad, post it there. If you're not coming to Ahmedabad, post it to me. That's where I stopped. Thank you very much. I'm sorry if I've gone really very fast. I wanted to finish my task in that given time. So you can always feel free to ask me if you have any other questions and uh, you can also send me your comments on this. And now is time for your questions. I'll stop sharing now. Right. I think I'll allow you to unmute yourself. Thank you. Thank you, Lion Nagaraju. This is PAD Murugan. Sir. You have finished in exactly 40 minutes. Very good presentation. Uh, if there are any questions from anyone, uh, you can please raise your hand in the chat box so that you can be unmuted. And you can ask, uh, of course, compliments are most welcome. You, you can send compliments. But if you have any anything for clarification, you can raise your hand in the chat box. We will wait for a minute, and then I will be introducing the next person. Len Nagaraj, I think there are no questions. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> No issues. You can call me later also. You can write your questions to yeah, me. Yeah. Good evening. Did you share? Uh, yeah, yeah. Please. Uh, Anil Kumar. Then Anil Kumar. Yeah. I joined a little late. Uh, 20 minutes late, I joined. Uh, sorry, sir. 
good evening i want to ask you regarding that uh, website it's in the my line website so all, all these the guides are given yeah my lci in the my line site uh, all these guides all these guides the... yes you can access from both of them but you have limited access on my line and uh, th there are some features not available but don't worry you can go to mylinesclubs.org on your system and then you can access all these resources it sometimes it may be a little difficult for you to access some of these resources from your mobile phone uh, uh, excuse me anil kumar i am from the yes please your nta this all these powerpoints i i will send you uh, okay. i am having this powerpoint this uh, the, sorry not powerpoint this pdf files i am having uh, this i will forward to you if you are sending my mobile number you can put it in our uh, last rll oh okay thank you suresh okay thank you and nagra suresh kumar is from our multiple so he was answering the other gentleman i know i know i know suresh sir <laughs> He was there in Cochin. He was there. He in was Cochin. there in Cochin. We interacted. He also called me later. I think okay, Dilip has a question. Thank you. Thank you. I will. Uh, yeah, there is one hand has gone up. Dilip. Dilip. What? Yeah. My question is Dilip. Unmute him. Coordinator, we made in our district. How many specialty killers? Coordinator, we made in our district. How many specialty killers? Yes, sir. Uh, Dilip ji, your voice is not audible. There is a problem with your signal. I think we could not hear your question. Sir, how many specialist killer coordinator we made made in our district? Number of coordinator. Yes, sir. You mean district coordinators? How many specialist killer coordinator we made in our district? Uh, Lain Murugan, would you like to answer that question? The question is how many. district governor line dilip yes sir See, uh, normally you can for a district you can appoint one district gmt coordinator one glt coordinator one gst coordinator okay for uh, us is not a gma pilot district i don't think are you a gma pilot district yes, sir we want that how many specialty club coordinator specialty anyway, your voice is not audible your voice is not audible i will tell you a district can appoint officially officially only three coordinators for gmt glt and gst okay only three coordinators you can appoint of course uh, off the records you can appoint any number of people but they will not be internationally they will not be recognized only three will be recognized under the global action team okay i think it's clear I think the question is about specialty clubs coordinators. I think. Yeah, you can appoint. You can appoint specialty club coordinator. You can. Yes. You can How many? Only one. Only one. Only one. All these positions, whether it is LCIF, whether it is peace poster, whether it's site for kids, whether it is lines quest, for all these only one position is there. But in some districts. governors appoint more people because the district may be very very large district maybe 200 300 km someone has to travel so there you can appoint additional people you can call them uh, additional district coordinator or deputy district coordinator but they will not be internationally recognized international recognition is only one person you can upload only one name over there okay for global membership of, for gma pilot district kerala has got one gma pilot district it has got two people under the membership one person for new clubs and one person for new members under gmt that also only under gmt glt only one gst only one specialty clubs you can appoint definitely appoint and you can upload also you can upload his or her name okay so with the time is running out we have to go to the next session Yes, sir. I have immense pleasure to present before you uh, a very veteran line from Sri Lanka, uh, our neighboring country, our friendly country. Doc, sir, please unmute yourself again. Uh, 
I am pleased to present line Dr. Jeevanta Pereira from Sri Lanka. He holds a doctorate in business administration from University of Wales and master's in business administration from Cardiff Metropolitan University, UK. He is a proud product of Royal College of Colombo. Further, he holds seven diplomas in different fields in management and leadership, an experienced international <laughs> trainer. He is also a corporate trainer, youth development guide, power parenting coach, motivational speaker. He has been awarded with six International President's Appreciation Certificate, three times International President's Medals and International Leadership Medals for his Lionistic Achievements in addition to many recognitions and awards at the district and multiple level. He was graduated from DLLI, RLLI, ALLI, FDA, and also the highest qualification of LCIP, Lions International Certified Instructor, which is the prestigious qualification right now in Lions Cup International. I spoke to him today morning over the phone he has done many programs with parents, students, and teachers in many schools, universities, and educational institutions in Sri Lanka. And uh, I, I, have, I have come to know that he's a good uh, speaker and trainer. Sir, welcome to this uh, <laughs> grand program of, uh, what shall I say, preschool assignment, <laughs> we can say, before the conclave in uh, Ahmedabad. So the floor is yours. Over to line, Dr. Jeevanda Pereira. Thank you. Please Thank you very go. much. Uh, thank, thank you very much, PID, for a nice word of introduction. Uh, I born, uh, namaskar, uh, salam uh, great evening, my dear friends. Uh, it's a lovely evening. Uh, warm wishes uh, to uh, Trikartika Asam Shakal to my dear friends in Kerala. Uh, very quickly move into because uh, this is really an interesting subject. Uh, but before I'm sharing this uh, presentation slides that I thought very important thing is uh, uh, we are tools. Uh, if you if you if we give a, a little car toy car to one of our uh, little boy or a girl. What would be they do? They do many things meddling with that tool. So here the tools are not for anything else. We can teach or guide how to swim, but we have to handle this. We have to swim. So we have to jump to the swimming pool to swim. Then only we can learn. So all the tools which my good friend Nagarajuji and I am also sharing right now has to be handled by you all. Go to all the website and try and handle it and see it, analyze it. Because if somebody want to become great in his work, we have to handle numbers, data, information, because it makes the change. So today I'm going to talk on these three areas during this session, second session of the day. Within this 40 minutes time, I'm quickly rushing through three important areas, engaging new members and engaging your club and promoting <clears throat> your club. Very truly, my dear friends, in order to <clears throat> share this knowledge, I, I have gone through this, uh, all the subject area, but again and again and again, I went through. You won't believe some areas which came to my mind is for the first time. I have read it, but the real meaning came to my, when I read maybe for the fourth or fifth time. So thank you very much, uh, PID Murugan sir, for inviting me because it allowed me to learn a lot. So uh, the new member uh, engaging, engagement of new members, very important tool is the orientation. So new member orientation is the key important task for any organization. Imagine belonging to an organization and having only a, a vague or unclear idea of its goals or programs or history or the traditions, what would be the situation? Would you feel 
like um, would you get the feeling to belong to that type of organization would you be motivated and committed to help the organization reach its goals if you are not clear of course not you would likely be wondering why you join the organization at all if you are not clear what the organization is the, the information presented during orientation provides a foundation for new members it helps uh, it helps that individual understand how the club functions what their role will be and gives them new idea and a big picture of their district and the association when new members are uh, promptly informed they are more likely to feel comfortable with the club and become actively actively involved in club activities right away a properly oriented member is also one who is most likely to remain in lines for years that's what very important sometimes we do the orientation just because we have to do just because we want to tick that is not that is not so the next uh, area is mentoring which i am going to talk a little bit so mentoring is the next step to keep the new member on track and assisted to be move up in the organization ladder so let me explain three key important resources available for uh, for member orientation number one new member orientation training guide this guide this guide will help the orientation train up a train a plan actually train a plan for new member orientation and gives the trainer tips along with the uh with the guidelines and the what you had to talk but the important thing is the trainer tips so successful new member orientation does more than just giving information to the new member it inspires and motivates them to become engaged in service philanthropy and and leadership opportunities as a life this guide is intended to help the orientation trainer conduct new member orientation highly successfully highly successfully the curriculum will follow along with the information in the new member orientation guide because new member orientation guide is the next document uh, which i want to tell so this guide the training guide is also going aligning with the orientation guide so the orientation guide is a document that the new member follows the orientation with, along with the trainer so it is basically even this orientation guide is really good for the new member to keep with him as a reference even at a later date with the on the on the really on the same day that everything cannot be grabbed by the new, new member but this new member orientation guide is the best tool first learn to us then sharing knowledge to us then so the next tool is new member orientation powerpoint i don't have to explain it but only thing i have seen sometimes we used we download and we use this powerpoint for orientations but lot of blanks because you are just downloaded using it as as a powerpoint but what is the feeling that you are giving to the new member because even most of the blanks has not been filled because raw presentation but make sure if you are going to do a orientation use these tools wisely that is really important these are some of the things that which is i'm going not going to explain but but uh, just to give you some insights what is available in the curriculum first start from who alliance then about your clubs because most of the areas that the club history club officers these traditions elections meeting dates everything is blank because it has to be completed by you when you are making the presentation that is what very important to understand then we are moving to the district and multiple district details then lions clubs international of course this area is completed other than few important areas that the leadership area the international president and the organization structure some areas are blank where you have to complete so only thing you have to be very uh, cautious on handling this 
This is something very important that I wanted to take little time on explain. So the Alliance International will help reinforce information, reinforce information covered during the new member orientation by sending series of communications to your new member, not only to the new member, even to the sponsor during the first three year period. What a great setting by the Lions Clubs International. So because you know the reason why it is being sending to the men, uh, um, sponsor also, because if the new member has to make any clarification from the sponsor, it is the sponsor's responsibility, then he's also aware this document has been sent to international. So what are structural things that we have in place? So the, in order to have a successful uh, orientation, I just wanted to, uh, as I have seen many uh, challenges and the difficulties, I, I thought of just touching some important point of those, but I'm not going to explain each and every area within this given timeline. So the what is needed is before we do a orientation, very important thing is get the this important document completed. What is it? The just ask uh, PDF document is there. Uh, there you get the new member questionnaire. Give it to the new member and get it complete and get it. Take it to your hand if you are the trainer there. Then beforehand, you know what are the interests and what type of a member that you are going to make this orientation presentation. Then you can touch people on those points, my dear friends, because it is really needed. Even you can't be too serious of making orientation. Always make sure at least 75% of your time, you have the smile in your face. It has to be. So the new, uh, who can do this uh, uh, orientation? New member uh, sponsor, new member sponsor can do it. The orientation. And, but only thing, the, the orientation so that when new member is do uh, new member sponsor is doing the orientation, but so new member to new member, the sponsor changes, but the orientation process has to be unique. The uniformity has to be there. That's why these documents are there. So the mentor also can do it. So the mentor, if mentor is doing the orientation, it's really a, a very important thing because he can do the basic mentoring program also aligning with the orientation program. So I'll be touching a little bit about the mentoring program also uh, as the second tool uh, in order to be very clear. So what are the other two uh, areas where we who can do on this orientation? Designated orientation trainer, we, you can have a, maybe for the club, maybe for zones, maybe for regions, uh, maybe, for, maybe for the district also, we can have orientation trainer teams because then they are making some standardizing of what they do in their training programs. So how this, how the orientation will be conducted is something very important that we should uh, have some sort of an idea. We can have one session, right? Well, maybe little compactful, but cover everything in a new member orientation guide in one day, we can do it. But only thing, if you are doing this compactful for training program, have a little bit, uh, a small icebreaker or, or maybe a little bit differently do it, then it's you can have the same structure to every district or the, every area, but make it a little bit unique or different, but the content should be same. Either you can have multiple sessions also, right? So uh, then the very important point is decide the best way to present information to the member. We have so the best way to present information to member orientation PowerPoint important, but only thing make sure that updated PowerPoint is being used. That is really important. Then the very important thing is prepare a new member packet. 
it is really, really important. There are a lot of tools are there where you have to give it to the new member. That is really important that you should here. At least, even if you are not in the position to get some of those hard copies, sometimes now the new generation like to they don't like to have hard copies. At least get them um, the soft copies. Email them. Very important thing is on get to what. Here are some very important I take all up well with the self-introduction. That is really important. I don't know how to explain. Respect all. Very important thing is start on time. If it is the orientation. Now, today, we, we our PID, sir, and with respect to all of you all, we started on time. Start on time. Very especially, the orientation has to be on time. And... Uh, Ask the new member if any clarification. It's something you are, you are opening and very, very open to them. Then use the uh, test, uh, uh, the quiz, IQ uh, in the orientation guide at the last and make them comfortable and, and the, connect, uh, the connect topics covered to the information gathered of each participant's new member questionnaire. That is really important. You get that questionnaire completed from the new, new member and you make them connected to your uh, orientation. That is really important, my dear friend. So the next important point document is mentoring document. We have two types of mentoring guides. One is basic mentoring guide. The other one is advanced mentoring guide. So the advanced mentoring program is totally a little bit different. It is We are focusing on two areas. One is on results and the other one is replication. And we are looking at how uh, we are developing uh, the leadership and the managerial skills. And, and the uh, level two of uh, advanced mentoring is replication means how that leader who is leading himself and giving opportunities others to lead. So it's a basically a inspirational leaders, transformational leadership there. So I'm here touching with the new member, not the advanced mentoring. It is only basic mentoring. So the basic mentoring also guide also going aligning with the new member uh, orientation guide. So the um, basic mentoring also have two areas. One is the responsibility of being aligned. So there, what we are explaining, because this basic main uh, responsibility, uh, especially on the responsibility of being the land first part, level, level one has to be done within the first three months of the new member joining. That is really important. Sometimes we forget this because there are a lot of value creation that we are having because Lions new member um, orientation guide also aligning with this, right? Because new member will be then comfortable to be with the organization for a longer time. So the level two here is the relationship. The second level of the basic mentoring program is for development, developing relationships and organizational skills. So what a great organization that we are looking at, our prospects who are joining with us. So the next area which I'm going to talk to you is the next tool is engaging your club. It's set of two um, tools, engaging your clubs. What type of tools that we have to increase the engaging of our clubs in activities? Why these are very important? Because my dear friends, we need members. We need members. Every time we say we need members, but also very important that we should know that we have to retain members. We have to retain members. If it is a business, <coughs> rather than a new customer is being taken over, the retention of the same customer is worthwhile than going and going behind for a new customer. We have to do, go for new members, but look after the existing members. Here, what we are talking is on two important documents, tools. One is CQI, <coughs> CQI, and the other tool is member satisfaction guide. So the club quality initiative is something, <clears throat> it is a, a tool to understand its ability to meet the needs of, the, of its members and its community. Not only the members of the club, but even the community. It is a great opportunity to have, to have what? 
to have more focus, more focus on most critical factors of a successful club. Impactful service, quality members, growing leaders, three important areas of our care. So the CQY is a planning for future, reviewing the current position of your club. There are three ways of doing this program. Three ways of doing program. That is a two hour session, but only thing if it is two hours, I don't want to explain. You have to have the homework given to the members to complete the questionnaire and come. Then five sessions of 30 minutes. The third option is full session of four hours. Right. So it is really important because there are a lot of supportive materials at LCI, uh, our, our website, to have a successful CQI program. So I'm here talking only about this one main tool, which relate to a lot of tools, CQI. So the facilitator guide, facilitator PPT, even the flyers, participant workbook, that is there for this. So CQI is a very important tool to analyze the club for better tomorrow, better tomorrow. It is highly recommended for first vice president of the clubs. Then only he can think and understand what are the changes that you have to implement in the club then move forward. We can have to do this. There are four assessments in CQI for the betterment of the member experiences. So the, uh, These are the tools uh, available in the first assessment. First assessment. So in the first assessment, uh, in that uh, we do is rejuvenate your club with new members. So th uh, through this assessment, we are looking back on our strategies, about our strategies, recruiting new members. Whether we are ready, whether our club is ready, our, our membership chairperson is ready, whether he knows his responsibility. That's what these tools are given for. So membership, member engagement of the club projects and activities, motivate and retain members, attract new members, and readiness of the club to welcome new members. These tools are helping all of us to achieve that. The second assessment is on analyzing the actual situation of the club related to service project activities, whether the project well managed and meaningful, whether the members uh, like or don't like the projects, is the club ready to accept uh, new projects and whether they have new projects to consider. These tools assist us to think differently in this area. So the how projects can be improved qualitatively, and how the community can be involved with these service projects. So, dear friends, these are the tools that we have to handle and use experience. So assessment three have a lot of tools because it is to determine the need for change. What type of a change? It is to achieve excellence in leadership development and club operations. Two important areas because it is one of the get focuses. It is the club ready to achieve organizational excellence. A large number of tools. So the this third assessment will help us to identify quality improvements of all our meetings and events. Club creating a culture to develop more and more leaders. So the developing leaders. That's what I told you. Lions. Leadership is not just leaders, not only empathetic leaders. I would rather say we are emotional, transformational, great leaders, actually the servant leaders, emotional, transformational servant leaders. So we have to create leadership. Those are assisting our clubs to develop leaders. There are a number of tools in LCI. Here I have given some of those in order to identify by you all. So the assessment four is focusing on how we share our club achievements with our community, our internal and external stakeholders. 
how do we create public opinions? We may analyze how the community views the club, whether it is positively or negatively. Visibility to our community leaders. How is our application of social media? How professional are we in social media? Lot of things to learn, not only as a lion. My dear friend, you can be a, a if you are doing business, if you are in a profession, if you are employed, you can shine better if you handle these tools as a different individual. Not only you need to be a leader, but everyone in lines are leaders. So the next important tool are CQI uh, to understand. So uh, next to CQI, to understand and increase the member engagement is member satisfaction guide. Member satisfaction guide. It is really important. If you want to, uh, if, you, if you go to a, um, we'll think if you go to a restaurant and it did not uh, meet your expectations, would you go back? Would you go back? So this is the document that we have to go back to our members and to see whether our members are happy and what are the changes that we have to do in order to have a very satisfactory, satisfied environment with our members. So we should understand the key needs of our members. As per the LCI research finding, the reasons why members uh, retain in a club are especially the three key areas is this, being able to take pride in service activities, being confident that they are making a difference, being informed of club goals. Friends, in addition to that, new members looking up to satisfaction areas in two areas, be able to develop friendships, feel like they have a sense of belongingness. These are not my words. These are not just LCI put forward. It is after deep researchers, dear friends. So the keeping your club efficient and productivity and meaningful. Meaningful to, to whom? Meaningful to our members. So it, because it results many benefits many benefits. These are few benefits which I want to show it to you. We have to look up to our members and look up to their, their satisfaction. So three action steps for member satisfaction. Be sure your club has a mission statement, objectives and define goals, define goals. Communicate this to your members clearly and openly and ensure that your communication methods work for all members in the club. This guide will help you in these three easy steps. These three, the membership satisfaction guide, satisfaction guide is allowing you to think and support and motivate your members in these three steps. So uh, here are a few tips that, uh, that uh, will help uh, you to get started in defining member satisfaction in your club. Ask your members. Assess why your members have left in the past and review the club mission, objectives, and goals. That is really important. Every club under the same vision and the missions of Lions Clubs International, I recommend we every club create a, their own mission under the great mission statement of the Lions Clubs International. So make it a shared vision and a shared mission. Get the ownership on that. Create their own objectives and goals, but subject to the Lions Clubs International uh, uh, code of ethics purposes and the constitutions, you made the difference. I, I know all of these leaders, I'm, I'm talking to you always saying you, you and you, but I'm talking not to you really. I'm requesting you to talk to others. The vibration of the change, that's what I do here. So the step two is looking at what? So losing members in an 
is a is an issue in many clubs many clubs the reason that members leave is off on the same most of the areas most of the areas club conflicts club conflicts so it is something that we have to understand these things the feeling like they are not making a difference and not having a sense of belonging here i am going to talk on this a little bit often uh, most often club conflict can stem from the organizational and leadership of the club meetings club meetings that are well organized will help prevent conflict between members and will provide an opportunity for all members to be involved as well as keep conflict or disagreement at a meeting to a minimal level so the meeting is really important it is really important meeting if the meetings are unproductive if meetings were not enjoyable if the meetings are too hierarchical a hierarchical and and formal we have to think of that is very important so the first part by answering these five questions of having a productive meeting why are we meeting why are we meeting is the purpose of the meeting to conduct club business or for social or public uh, relations reasons so we have to think of what the purpose of the meeting why we are having the meeting so the number 2 is how long will the meeting last do your members enjoy certain customs and traditions are there uh, are there some items that they may prefer to eliminate could the time be more productively used to address club businesses or for more social time so we have to understand that third question when are we meeting maybe we feel it is really simple but a different day or time may increase attendance consider forming a club branch if your club uh, has two or more five or more members in a uh, need a different location joining from different locations maybe in a distance place maybe they love to have a different time so, so there are how many options has been created by alliance of international where are we meeting consider a new place for your meeting a different place could bring a different perspectives even a different room arrangements can have an effect it is applicable even to your life tonight if you can change how your bedroom arrangements you will sometimes surprise and would see whether i am in my normal room bedroom or in a hotel room make changes in order to have create or rather create satisfaction in our inner sense what do we want to accomplish by the end of the meeting that is really important my dear friends always ask this is there all five question is there in this tool toolbox why do we want to accomplish what 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 do we want to accomplish in result focus of the meeting so the other area where our members are having concerns is not making a difference not making a difference so we are there to make that difference in the minds the hearts the wisdom or their brains of our new members and the existing members so we have to create opportunities and there there are not enough opportunities to serve the community sometimes so it is you and me my dear friends that we make the difference we create the difference so how we are making the change in all these areas is really important so third area is the why the club members are sometimes drop or unsatisfied don't have a sense of belongingness i have mentioned some points here right the go our goal is to get our new members involved involved and feel like they have voice they have voice while keeping our current members excited about what our club is doing so these are the areas where the uh, as for the research 
found that we have to look into. The tools are given, those reflections, my dear friends. So the sense of belongingness is the third area. So make every member feel that they contribute to your club, our club, and that their contribution is important. Respond when members make suggestions or other inputs. Always follow up on those because it's the way that you are going to give value to them. It is really important. It is really important. Uh, use resources available on the website, Lions the uh, Resource Center, such as member orientation, guide and mentoring program. It's only few. There are large number of resources that we have to meddle and handle and improve on using those. So this 40 minutes is not in a position, but I would rather say, this is not a training session. This is not a lecture. I am doing some facilitation to this learned, respected lion leaders. Look up to that. So the step three on this is, member satisfaction guide is implement and review your plan. Three steps. Communicate your membership satisfaction plan, dealing with resistance and ongoing implementation. Here is very important area. Communicate membership satisfaction with the other, how you are going to share that. The communication is really important in our organization. There we have a lot of tools to handle it. And the next is dealing with resistance. It is really important area. When addressing issues by making changes to your club, you are likely to encounter resistance. All leaders should be in a position to face the resistance. To minimize it, use the, these questions, why, what, when, how, these questions in order to implement the changes. Why? We clearly explain the reasons for the proposed changes. After, after the member satisfaction survey that you do, these changes has to be implemented. So what, explain what your members can expect to see happen. When, when have a, a defined starting point or any proposed changes, how, how the outline, what to expect the results to be there. Important is the feedback then the implementation of the change and be flexible also because it is the changes that you are doing over a period of time and you have to adjust yourself and also allowing our members also to adjust make changes over time it is really important so the third line here is ongoing implementations we have to review and adjust that is the leadership quality, not to be a dictator, to be stick into your changes, but you have to adjust yourself on, on looking up to the situations. So utilize new skills and talents. It is really important. So the new member questionnaire at the end of this guide is there are three questionnaires. One is new member questionnaire. Get it completed from the new member. We can get a lot of insights. Next question is former member questionnaire. The members, Lions, who has left the organization. I myself truly experienced when I send this former member questionnaire, we were able to get back a lot of members through this questionnaire because it's an eye opener. They were really happy here. Look. The Lions, even after me leaving Lions some after several years, they have not forgotten me. We, we designed in my district as welcome back period, and we got them back with this former member questionnaire. And the other important document is the membership satisfaction action plan. There are three key areas, basically four areas. One is service activities, club meetings, other ideas, any suggestions actually, and also the uh, align, aligning these changes that we are going to apply on, with the timelines. So the next meeting and the next quarter, how we are going to review and the next year, how we are going to do it and what are the changes we are going to happen. The action plan, that is really important. 
So the third area in my uh, discussion points today uh, is I have four minutes is promoting your club, promoting your club. So the promoting your club, there are three key important documents, marketing communication chairperson guide, smile and club brand guidelines. So marketing communication guideline, uh, the, this guide, chairperson's guide is not only to him, my dear friends. I would rather request all lions to handle it, read it, study it. It is really an eye-opener because this is our organization. Lion Nagaraj showed you a video clip of 30 seconds by inviting uh, lions for new membership. It's rather the emotional bonding. Somebody talks from his heart, inviting them. So this marketing uh, communications chairperson's guide is a really important document. So the next is smile. Social media, including lions everywhere, everywhere. How we can handle it? What are the changes that we are going to make? How we are going to connect with others? How we are going to become a brand ambassador of lions through social media? It is how we are going to give this awareness. The third document is Lions Club's International Brand Guidelines. I would rather request all our leaders to read this document, my dear friends, because it's an eye-opener. There we speak about verbal guidelines, verbal guidelines. Sometimes we just think of communicating, even we go for mass media, sometimes we go for press conferences, but before you go and do anything, read this document, verbal guidelines, then the emblems and name plates, usage of an emblem and name plates, and the designs, basics, uh, the what type of colors and the typography that we are using standard. Why this is needed? This other great organization has to have the uniformity. We have a brand, my dear friends. We can't just have the Lions logo as I wish as I love or like. We have an accountability and a responsibility. Design inspirations, branding our goal courses and brand questions. Lot of things that we can learn these things. What is important is, dear friends, I explained three important areas. Engaging new members, engaging your club, the tools about promoting your clubs. So tools relevant to these three areas. So in order to be successful in membership, need to have attainable goals, growth goals with an associated action plan, which has to be established and developed by the district governor in consultation with your team, with your team members. So no single formula, no single formula or approach will work to all the districts, all the districts. Therefore, goals, should ultimately reflect the recent realities of your club. That's how specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time-bound goals come. Yeah, you have just put triple C. It's my version. Smart goals. But I request Lions to have triple C goals, creative, committed, and challenging goals. Then only you are really creating the smart goals. So have action plan, how, when, who, and how will we know our results and our goal has been achieved? I'm ending with a simple uh, uh, explanation. I'm asking this why question, wherever I speak to lions. And I would request not only for you, you all take this message down to others. Why is the best question of problem solving? Problem solving, why, 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 why? So uh, Bhavana, Madam, she taught me when I was doing LLI, this why method of problem solving. Today, I'm telling you the new version of why by me. So why is the best question to resolve many issues and problems? Finally, I'm asking the same question from each and every one of you, really not from you, from the lions. You also has to ask the same question from other lions. At every time you face any issues or challenges, which making really a, uh, uh, issue on our membership. Why did I become a lion? If it is to fight, if it is to gossip, if it is to do politics, if it is to take revenge, you can have the negative list. Why lions? But 
if it is to serve, if it is to love, if it is to be a quality leader, have friends and have real happiness. If it would have real happiness, be a lion. So finally, you decide where you want to be. You should be. That is really important. So the GMT is a vehicle for communication, motivation, and education. And as well as uh, it is a stimulus for vision, planning, and perseverance. <clears throat> Dear leaders, believe in you, your skill, your team talents. Together, you can do it. All the best. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, uh, PID Muruganji, for inviting me. Thanks for your patience. Listen, extremely sorry. I just noticed I have taken one and a half minutes more than the allocated time. Extremely sorry. Apologies. Thank you, Nuno. Thank you, Lion, Dr. Jibunda Pereira. Uh, you are on time, maybe a couple of minutes. It's not a big, a big issue. Any, you did a wonderful presentation covering all aspects of uh, CQI, new member, mentoring, how to keep the members with us, politics in clubs, everything you have covered. Very good. Hey, any question from anybody? You can raise your hand in the chat box. Compliments are most welcome, but any questions, any clarification, please raise your hand in the chat box. That's all, no questions. <laughs> Last 90 minutes, yeah, we have taken only 90 minutes. Uh, now it is, yeah, about five, seven minutes extra. 90 plus about five, seven minutes extra. Uh, Land Dr. Pereira, thank you very much. Land Nagaraj, uh, thank you very much. We have, uh, uh, you know, we have Bhavana Shah, our Indian leader is here. We have a couple of vice governors in the beginning. Uh, we had Governor Manoharan Nambiar from, I saw him sitting in the, in the beginning from uh, Bangalore. Uh, we also had, I think, one more governor from some other multiple. So now vice governors are here. Some of the district coordinators are there. Uh, MD coordinator, I don't think, uh, yeah, so from Kerala, MD, GMD coordinator is not there. He is traveling, he is in the train, he's going somewhere. So, uh, shall we conclude, Lai Nagaraj? Shall we? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please, uh, please unmute yourself. So somebody wants to speak, it seems. They asked me to unmute them. I have just yes. allowed everybody to unmute in case they want to speak. Uh, good evening, sir. Prayer yourself is a very good presentation indeed. Questions. If you have any questions, please ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sir, could you analyze about smile? Jevant Pereira. Yes, SMI. LEA. Could you analyze about that? Sir, Narasar, uh, uh, could you hear me? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Uh, SMILE is stand for social media, including lions everywhere. So it is basically focusing on how we are going to develop our approach of social media. Why use social media? So the lion can use social media to make a bigger impact, very truly, and how we are going to use it so that we can connect with the other community organizations, leaders, and the general public uh, uh, to spend the word of uh, uh, the strong word of our organization. So the smile is create an opportunity and some awareness on the on how we are going to use it. But uh, along with that, we better learn the uh, branding area also because otherwise, I have seen some of our members use the name as lions and using the social media and then he has branded himself now if i'm using if I, my social media platform is as lion dr jivanta Pereira, but if i'm posting all uh, 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 posts are not questionable posts i would rather say then you're making a big damage to the organization because your name is there as a lion so best thing is how we are going to manage it. So it is something that we can show uh, our, show uh, your local and global community, how you serve, your club serve, and engage current and uh, potential members. 
and uh, create uh, even uh, create a fundraiser through social media okay sir thank uh, you my, sir my 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 home service. home club uh, my home club uh, uh, my leo club did a wonderful fundraising project through social media a wonderful highly successful fundraising project through social media thank you very much sir thank you for your clarification sir thank uh, you uh, hello some uh, one lion has requested my uh, email and uh, contact number whatsapp number i have already given thank you very much someone else someone else speaking please mention your name and speak yes sir good evening sir good evening sir good evening yeah this is uh, pandian uh, pandian v from gmt coordinator from 324b madurai yes yes, yes sir uh, thank you sir thank you very much it's excellent uh, presentation we enjoy a lot very informative and uh, more touchable uh, touchable uh, message um, uh, we received from you and uh, and mr navraj sir Uh, we thank you very much once again to our organizing committee pad murugan sir uh, all the uh, actually today uh, we enjoyed uh, what are the uh, important uh, tools and uh, uh, presentations is available in our website uh, uh, through insights so thank you very much uh, is is more uh, appreciable uh, consequently we will will have this kind of uh, um, uh, session so it is more help to future leaders thank you very much sir thank you and good night doctor thank doctor ananda kumari from uh, tamil nadu you can speak madam you can speak good evening leaders good evening one and all my question is that uh, now it is in the fifth month are we eligible to apply for standard grants membership standard grants are we eligible sir your question is not grants. clear What yes standard grants standard grants are we eligible because three months a quarter has passed only one more month for the second quarter are we eligible for standard grants we are talking about ncif ncif yes, yes ncif okay. membership, okay, standard membership. membership standard grants oh membership standard grants okay yes sir dr perera uh you can answer on the deadline deadline nagaraj And, uh, Nagaraj, I, I, I don't think there is yeah, anything called membership standard grants at all. So standard grants relate to LCI, if not LCI. Okay. Doctor Anandu Kumar, Doctor Anandu Kumar, yes, you can apply for membership development grant. Okay. Oh, that's different. You have to, you have to give a proposal. You are going to invite a hundred non-lines. <laughs> See, okay, a mixture of college uh, teachers. and maybe lic agents or other professionals you are planning for a meeting in such and such venue and out of 100 people you expect some 25 to 30 people to become like something example i'm telling you and for hosting a party for 100 people how much money you need you can apply to lci yes you can apply to lci they will go through they will go through your proposal and uh, They go to proposal and there is some budget. If it is within the budget of MCI, I, I think it is first come first basis. And if it is there, I think many people, many districts have not applied. So because it is a little tiresome of work, you have to give a proposal. You have to have a meeting. Invitation cards have to be printed. Good speakers have to be invited. Uh, non lines have to be invited. So it is a little tiresome of work. But I know you are a capacity. You are a uh but uh, you are a very uh, what shall i say sportive leader so you may try you may try talk and do much you may try. thank you i was once you were my dmp area leader sir thank you so much yes, yes. i have come to your district in yes, for, DL, for dlli you have come to my district for dlli thank okay, you sir any more questions Okay, I think we have to conclude. It is going to be nine o'clock. I once again thank both the presenters, Lion Nagaraj and Lion Doctor Jeevan Pereira, for the excellent presentation they made on GMT toolboxes. I thank Governor Narayan, our yeah, yeah. Uh, other you, vice you. governors and governors who participated in this meeting in spite of their busy schedule. Thank you very much. Have thank a you. have a nice evening. Good night to everyone. Bye bye.
Thank you. Good night, everyone of you. Thank you for being here. Nagaraja, thank you. 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 Thank you.